And Anthony Kay will get the start trying to get the Blue Jays off to the right note here in this homestand. His first career start, fourth appearance versus the Baltimore Orioles. His last appearance, ironically, was Saturday. That was, <clears throat> excuse me, in Baltimore. That was the game where Alec Manoa was thrown out of the game. All told, Anthony pitched three and a third innings in that game, gave up three hits and two earned runs. And Sini bloops it, and it'll drop in there for a base hit. So Trey Mancini, good career numbers against the Blue Jays. Loves to hit. And there's and another one. Keeps on going. Sends it into right field for Hernandez. Mancini is going to stop at second base. Two on, one out, and the batter will be Anthony Santander. 3 2 pitch. Goes upstairs again and gets another strikeout. Foul chip held down to by Reese McGuire, the catcher. Two strikeouts in the inning for Cape. He goes back to the heater and strikes out three. And for Dean Krager, Tra uh, Kramer, the uh, 12th start, the last two have been a lot better. He's been up and down twice. Back to back walks to start the ball game for Kramer, and that'll bring up the very dangerous Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Ball four, three straight walks in a row to load the bases to start the game. Teoscar Hernandez gets the hit with the bases loaded and nobody out. One for sure. So the Blue Jays are on the board for a second straight game. To ask her name, this drives in the first run of the ball game for the Blue Jays. There's a contact and it's knocked down a second throw to first in time, but Gritchick will be rewarded. He shortened up his swing, picks up an RBI as Bashin comes in from third base. Fourth walk of the inning, and it reloads the Blue Jay bases. Now you deal with Guriel. Swing and a drive. This ball is deep. If it's fair, it's got a grand slam home run on the first pitch for Curiel. Blue Jays with those home runs. There's that hanging breaking ball. Inner half. Boy, that thing, I'm sure his eyes lit up when he saw that thing coming in there. His first career grand slam home run. That's the 23rd first pitch home run the Blue Jays have hit this season. 2-2. Two, two. Swing and a miss. It's a high fastball. That one is flared out to left center field. It's another soft hit. Franco makes it into third base. And the Orioles put runners at the corners with one out. And he gets him another high fastball for a strikeout. The bases are loaded. Two down for Trey Mancini. Mancini's a good RBI man. Here's a one-two pitch, a breaking ball, and he went around. Mancini's called for the swing. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. walked his first time. Swing and a drive. A high fly ball to the left field. And this ball is gone. Another Vladimir Guerrero home run. He is the sole leader in the majors with 24 home runs. He broke a tie with Shohei Otani. That was a classic Vladimir Guerrero swing on a hanging pitch. He has quickly become a major league force. Good swing and a miss. A good breaking ball there. And Kay now has seven strikeouts. Hauls it in. Keep his part of the ballpark. Gonna go back to Grinchick. Time. This will be an easier playoff than that of Freddie Galvis. And that'll hurt. The Orioles are done in their half of the third. Now here's Marcus Simeon. He's batting for the third time in the third inning. Breaking ball. Pulled fair down the left field line. Pass Franco. McGuire's headed for third, and he's been waved home. Here's the throw to the plate from Galvis. Not in time. Marcus Simeon with an RBI double that comes with two outs. Now you have another guy in scoring position with a guy that came in 22 for 66 with runners in scoring position. Drive to right center, and that ball's going to split the gap and go all the way to the fence. Bo Bichette has driven home Marcus Simeon back-to-back -back RBI doubles here in the third with two outs. He looks in the changeup some his last time that he pitched. Here's the curveball. Comes to Franco. All we got to do is talk about it. It was a good one. Foul 
14 ball. Another play for Franco. Long throw in time. And Gritchick's retired. Good stretch at first by Mountcastle. Mountcastle is playing first base tonight with Trey Mancini DH. It's his 21st start over at first base. Uh, he's played some left field. He's played some first base. Not sure where he's going to end up in his career, but this is a pretty good play right there. Reaches in and looked like he left the bag. Joe West says safe. The 1 0 pitch to Biggio. Clubbed in the air, center field. Mullins racing back, shy of the warning track, still backpedaling, waits for it, and he makes the catch. That's an out number two. Tag up at second base. Great throw by Mullins. Valenka is there to apply the tag, and there's a double play. Swing and a miss. Good breaking ball down and in. Another strikeout. That's the eighth strikeout for Anthony Kay, and it ties his career high. Another fastball flared into right field, and Oscar is going to get there. And Hernandez makes a running catch just inside the foul line. Breaking ball, tap back to the mound. Kay has it. High throw, no problem for Joe Panic. The inning is over. Leadoff single is stranded on base. Anthony Kay, through five innings, has a 9 0 lead. You know, another guy that, as you mentioned, throws in the mid 90s with a big overhand curveball. First pitch fastball is hit into the corner by Severino. And he will stand up with a leadoff double. Mancini goes to right. This ball is hit hard, but the Oscar runs it down in deep right field, right on the warning track. Maybe the first week of May. That was the last time they've won a game on the road. Derek Mullins gets jammed, and that'll do it. The Blue Jays shut out the Orioles nine to nothing.